If you can't calm the waters, learn to ride the waves. Life with its ups and downs and trials and tribulations can hit us hard. So hard that we lose our way. The world feels hostile and cold. Come back to the space where you recognize your resources and your blessings. And now, part two. Journey Think and Grow Rich. And it seems that more and more clear you are about what you want the easy it is for you, for the whole universe to seem to conspire to support you in that endeavor. I know many people talk about when they first go out to do something, there seems to be a lot of obstacles. And that may be the, the way, you know, the universe is saying, are you serious? You know, we've got these fail safes in place because if you start, you know, you and I both know if, if what you thought immediately came into being, we'd have a whole bunch of people destroyed, dead, turned into rabbits. And, uh, you know, you know, we have these things that happen on a whim. You stub your toe and next thing you know, you're mad at everybody. And now I get out of my face and they disappear. Yo, oh, I didn't mean it. So to prevent us from having that kind of power, I think what happens is we say we want something and until it really create, it gets that real, deep psychic depth of meaning and, and persistent uh, uh, vision in our being, it doesn't happen. But once we get it in ourselves so completely and so thoroughly that it's just very clear that this is what we live and breathe to do, the universe says, okay, he's serious. Let's get it done. Let's help him get it done. Let's help her to get it done. So listen, I know I'm talking a lot here. I'm going to actually give you an opportunity to call in and share maybe what your thoughts are about what I had to say. I gave you six steps based on Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich and uh, invited you to listen to him directly and gave you some resources on YouTube and, and uh, also um, taking Google search. If you have any difficulty with that at all, go to my Facebook page, uh, Clifton McKnight or joyfully getting from here to there. And there'll be some links there that can be of great resource to you. But if you want to call in, I want you to call in to 516-595-8315. And I'll be glad to entertain your question or comments. That's 516-595-8315. And until somebody calls in, I just want to continue just a, a moment here. And I'll just say this. There's a story about a guy who had uh, got caught up in the gold rush, right? And, and you'll read this in Think and Grow Rich, uh, probably before you even get to the section I said to those of you who read it. And then uh, this guy's name was uh, R.U. Darby, D-A-R-B-Y. And uh, he's just like, okay, we're going to go. I'm going to spend all my money on this machinery and we're going to drive out to California where I hear gold, uh, gold ore can be found. And um, we're going to dig for gold. And we're going to strike it rich. And uh, so they went up there and they got the dry, the drills and they got all these folks to help them. And he stepped there, boom, 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 boom. And bam, they found a vein. And they all got excited and they started going and boom, 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 boom. And then the drain, the gold vein disappeared. I guess you were thinking I was going to tell a different story, but this is how the book reads. The vein of gold ore disappeared. Well, they said, that's okay. Maybe it's going to come back. And so they drilled some more. Boom, 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 No gold ore. Boom, 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 boom. See, I do a better job than the book does or the story. I know you want me to do it. Maybe somebody will contact me and say, I want you to do my book. Well, maybe it'll fit my goals and my dreams. So let's talk about it. Boom, 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 boom. And you know what happened? And I'll bet you're listening and say, if you haven't read it, you know what happened, right? They found another vein. No, that's not what happened. They gave up because they just kept trying and nothing happened. Nothing happened. 
all dejected, they sold the machinery to a junk man for a few hundred dollars and took a train home. Now, I know that you, you're you saying that's not a very inspiring story of what happened afterwards. It goes on to say, some junk men are dumb, but not this one. He called in a mining engineer to look at the mine and to do a little calculating. The engineer advised that the project had failed because the owners were not familiar with fault lines. His calculations showed that the vein would be found just three feet from where the Darby's had stopped drilling. Three feet. Three feet. And you know what? They went and did the drilling, and that's exactly what they found. The junk man took millions of dollars in gold air from the mine because he knew enough to seek expert counsel before giving up. Now, therein lies my message to you. Not only am I suggesting that you don't give up. Oh, I see the phone lines are lighting up. But I'm suggesting that you take the time to invest in learning from those who are doing what it is that you want to do and engaging their support and getting you there. Whether you do that, by the way, by attending seminars, workshops, college, universities, or reading books or watching videos, the key is that you do it. So I'm going to open up the lines here and let's see here. This this first phone number um, looks like um, uh, 6528. Yeah. If you, uh, hel- hello. How, how are you? Miss? That's Miss Vet. Yes. How you doing, Miss Vet? Absolutely wonderful. Oh, good. Great. Did you want to comment or you were just listening in? Well, I, for me, my interpretation of uh, of um, Hill basically is uh, do a mental brainwash from a positive perspective on yourself. You know, like mm-hmm. uh, same way you can brainwash for something negative, you brainwash yourself for a positive. And you just Amen. constantly uh, have signs to, you know, remind you of your goals. You have signs in your car. You put it on your cell phone. You have it everywhere. It's a constant reminder of That's what right. you're trying to achieve. And you remind yourself why. Like in my case, I become addictive to freedom because I'm laid <laughs> off my job. All right. And uh, my partner and I always talk about this, which is um, Sterling on the other line, is become addictive to have control over when you wake up, when you go to work, when you stop working. And then the financial aspect is if I want a sirloin steak on a Monday, I can get it. I ain't got to wait till I get paid on Friday. Hello. So, All right. Uh, and real estate is definitely the avenue that can give you that freedom where you can spoil yourself or anyone dear to you at any given time. It will give you to be able to give back. I mean, the possibility is unlimited. And if it doesn't work, only person you got to do is look in the mirror and it's your fault. Mm-hmm. Bottom line, because um, God is in every mix that you do on a positive basis, whatever your choice is, God is already in the mix. Already so you got the one to make whatever you want happen on your end. So therefore, whatever goal that you have, whether it's dancing, singing, real estate, God is already in you. It's already been planted. So you just got to decide to water the flower, to water the seed, and make it grow. Mm. So, You're uh, gonna have to come back on this show and get a segment. That <laughs> that's good stuff. So in that perspective, is is you just got to make the decision of what you want to do because the will is already there. Okay. So, like I said, for us, financial freedom is addictive, and now it's no turning back. Working with someone else is no more. Stay on the line with us. Stay on the line. We're gonna. I'm gonna gonna let this other call in, and uh, just if if you got a few minutes, uh, we'll keep this going. I I like where you're headed. Uh, Let me 